What in the unseasoned mess is going on here? Cut, cut, man, cut, man, true. Man. That's why we have to sit down and speak about the black and the brown. That's why we have to sit down and speak about the black and the brown. Let's go. About the black and the brown. You're dancing, they can't control you. Your skin is not only dark. It's six, five, one, one. It's like a trophy when Naomi's walking. She need an Oscar for that pretty dark skin. What is good? What is up, guys? It is your girl, Queen Versace, and I am back at it again with another video. Now, before I get into the video, let me just start off by saying, like I always do, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, that you leave a like down below, and that you have my post notifications on so that you know anytime I post that you can come right back here and chill with me. So, um, today, I don't know why I came across my recommended page because I'm pretty sure I specifically selected don't hide this from my recommendations from now and forevermore like till kingdom come but jake paul somehow weaseled his way into my recommended page and his video entitled reacting to ksi versus logan paul full flight and i was unfortunately plagued with his face so we just need to sit down and dissect the bull but before i do before i even go on and talk about anything because if you are new here you gotta know that your girl has always got notes your girl's always got notes when she's here to talk about some mess so before i even get into this i do not need any of you little snow bunny fans of jake paul any jake paulers j peers pjers whatever you call pb and j whatever you guys call yourselves i don't need any snow bunnies or little sugar cubes up in my comment section crying getting upset that i'm spitting facts i mean so if that's you click off this video right now you I, you've been warned but if you want to stay you know stay at your own risk but just know that i told your ass anyways so this video i thought it was just gonna be like i clicked on it because i honestly was just like you know i have nothing better to do i could you know i did all my homework i was like you know what today i got time so even though i didn't want to see it i watched it so then i clicked on the video and um there's just so much nonsense. I got two and a half pages full of nonsense on this nigga just from this video alone. That's that's record breaking. He's basically just going on about how basically he feels like this KSI Logan Paul fight was rigged. That's literally, and I quote, he said, and I probably shouldn't be saying this, but all of this shit's f***ing rigged. And like, I probably shouldn't be saying this, but all of this shit's f***ing rigged. And then later he said, the sport's rigged for sure. The sport's rigged for sure, 100%. Um, so let's let's just let's just break this down one time for y'all who don't get why this doesn't make sense coming from him. If the sports rigged, he said the sports rigged, not this fight. So if the sport was rigged, doesn't that mean that your fight was rigged? Because last time I checked, you won your fight. So if this is rigged, doesn't that mean you're a loser and that you didn't actually win? Cause logic because logic is going to be the theme here i get that that's new to him to jake paul but that's what we're that's what we use over here that's what we use over on this channel and he didn't just say it once he said it twice and he said for sure he said that this fight is rigged for sure so then he also goes on to say it's not an excuse i'm just saying uh, jake, well, it's not an excuse but i'm just saying first of all first of all Nobody just says anything, especially to a room full of cameras. Nobody just says anything. You said that to spin the narrative and to change the conversation in order to create a new conversation to discredit KSI's win. That's what your ass was doing. And you really thought you were slick because your audience is kids, but you really failed. No, like people like us who tune into this, we, we clocked your ass. You're not slick. Like to a room full of cameras and knowing your influence, you didn't just say no, no no then he also says things aren't going to be as fair as you think they are when there's all this money to be made and all of this stuff right okay um let's just sit back and think about that for a sec let's just take it back to your fight for a minute see with logic like i said logic is the theme you can't just make blanket statements on a given topic in this case youtube boxing or boxing because you said the sport so boxing you can't just make blanket statements on a topic and then just pick and choose when that statement applies that's literally not how life works so if you're saying that it's that you that boxing is rigged 
your fight was rigged and you better give that belt back. You see, this is exactly why Jake Paul is successful. This is exactly why he can get away with saying this kind of mess because his child, his fan base is full of children and children are not going to usually pick up on this level of manipulation because all they hear is pretty words. All they hear is words that are arranged in a certain way that they sound right. But adults who have like superior thinking can sit down and actually deliberate and when you break those words down, you realize that they do not make any sort of sense. This level of manipulation is like beyond me. This is why, I don't know why we keep giving this guy a platform. Like this, what in the unseasoned mess? What in the unseasoned mayonnaise and egg whites is actually going on here? He just throws this word around here and this word around there and just thinks it's okay because no one's gonna pick up on it. I'm Jake Paul, I already have my fan base. Not we caught you. Then he also goes on to say, I'm not saying the Logan KSI fight was rigged, but I'm also not saying that it wasn't. I'm not saying that the KSI versus Logan Paul fight was rigged, but I'm also not saying that it wasn't. So what are you saying? Why, if you're not saying that it was rigged and you're not saying that it wasn't rigged, what are you saying? What are you talking about? Why did you open your mouth? Why did you waste our time? Like, give us something. You can't have your cake and eat it too. You cannot just, you cannot make a statement like, if you're going to say something, say it with your chest. Say it with your chest and mean it and back it up 100%. Don't just put something out there for people to just deliberate amongst themselves. Because all your little fans hear is the fight was rigged. But even though you said, I'm not saying it wasn't rigged, all they're going to take is, oh, it was rigged. Oh, my God. Logan was robbed. Oh, my God. We need to fight for Logan. Hashtag give Logan his win. Nah. No, you're just mad. Take your L and dip that's all we're saying and even his brother even came by and laughed he's just like oh it was rigged like anyways like your brother is the man who literally just went into that ring and lost you haven't even lost and yet you're here trying to make excuses like we get that you wanted to use this fight and milk it for all that it was worth to put your face out there, but nobody's actually checking for you. That's the thing. Nobody's checking for your ass. You can go back to your house, your mansion with your fake wife and just go and sit there and make some noise because nobody's actually checking for you here. No, this wasn't about you. That's the thing. If anyone was to be upset, it would be your brother, but this wasn't even about you. That's the thing. And see, that's the other thing. How freaking convenient. First, first, if it was rigged, if this whole, let's just say in some hypothetical world, yeah, this sport is rigged. So if it was rigged, why are you now choosing to go up and say something after your brother just lost? Why is it, why is it now if it's rigged and if it's been rigged? Why are you just talking about that now? Second, if your guy won, would you still be in front of those cameras talking to everybody, talking to the whole world, saying that it was rigged? No, because you wouldn't want to be discrediting your brother's win. That's what I'm saying. And like I said, keep that same energy with your fight. If the sport's rigged, you're a loser, give that belt back. It's all just like extremely convenient. That's what I'm saying. That's why the bullshit meter is just like, it, bro it broke it, it broke the scale. That's what anybody with common sense is clocking at this point. And like, another thing is Jake, stop trying to fight ksi ksi is not checking for you he, like you showed some interview of him saying like he never even said yeah i'm down to fight jake like he literally said no i'm putting boxing on the back burner to focus on music and focus on youtube nobody's checking for you if anybody is checking for you which i doubt that they are it is that you should be fighting gib that is literally who everybody is saying that they want to see you fight even eddie hearn Got in front of the camera and said he gets thousands of messages of people saying get jake paul to fight gib and you've just been running from this fight and we all know why but like literally fight him at least before you fight ksi if that's even going to happen focus on fighting gib that's the fight that everybody wants to see now here was one of the funniest things in that whole video that i bet so many people didn't even clock so here's the rankings here's a photo of the rankings that he put in his video here on this channel we like to play games sometimes so the game that we're going to play on this channel today is can you spot the fraudulence so five seconds on the clock let's put that up and i'm going to put this picture here ready set go <laughs> Time's up. Um, who is your second win, sir? Because last time we all checked, you've had one fight.
and yet you're ranked underneath KSI with two wins, zero losses, zero draws. But um, you've had one fight. And the thing is, you struggle beat Deji. You you barely beat him. And yet you somehow have fabricated this second win for yourself. When did that happen? Was it just... And no, Joeller doesn't count. Because that was, for all we know, that was garbage. And that wasn't a real YouTube boxing fight. You didn't defend your title. Fighting Joeller, that... No. 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 Fights in your backyard don't count as a statistic on a YouTube boxing ranking. If everyone else is held to the same standard, you gotta be held to that same as well. Team Paul, join it now. Oh! Yeah, I'm good, love. Enjoy. So, like, as he's watching the fight, he's, like making comments here and there and after logan put like ksi in a headlock with that uppercut holding his head punched him knocked him down then punched him again while he was already down and you can hear jake paul say and i quote logan why the fuck would you do that he's on the ground but you should just let him be on the ground control yourself oh my god it's logan's fault logan why the f would you do that He's on the ground, bro. You should have just let him be on the ground. Control yourself. And it's Logan's fault. Remember those words. Remember those quotes. It's Logan's fault. Remember that. It's Logan's fault. But then later, he says he's knocked out there for a second. Big shot. And he, yeah, he put, he's knocked out for a second there. He's knocked out there for a second. He's knocked out for a second there. He's knocked out for a second there. He's knocked out for a second there. See, I don't know about you, but I've never seen any knocked out person get down and get up within like two seconds. I've literally never, I don't think knocked out people are able to stand. Because I'm pretty sure that's the whole point of being knocked out. But I mean, hmm, that's just me. That's just common sense. Another thing is that he says that he's always annoyed that people are always putting him underneath Logan because... They're like, oh, Logan's bigger and stronger. He must be better than Jake Paul, right? Well, I mean, right. We know that he's better than you, but like... And then he's like, well, technically, why didn't he beat KSI? Guys, listen to this logic. I screamed. Listen. I feel like I have no credibility. Like, it, it probably doesn't sound like I have credibility. Oh, oh it doesn't. Oh, it, it really doesn't. It doesn't sound like you have credibility, because you don't. But if, if Logan can't beat KSI, then... Why can Jake beat KSI? Everyone always puts me at underneath Logan, no matter what. Like, oh, Logan's bigger and stronger, so he must be better. Well, then how come he didn't technically beat KSI? I'm sorry. Did you beat KSI? They, like, what? I just want to remind everybody that I was the only fighter to finish a fight in the YouTube space so far. He says that he is the only fighter who has been able to finish a fight in the YouTube space so far. So when he says, he's wrong, just for those of you who don't know, he's wrong, but for him to say he's the only fighter to finish a fight in the YouTube space so far, I thought finishing a fight meant you go all six three minute rounds. And if that's the case, he didn't do that because the fight was waved off by Deji's team. And if that is also the case, Logan and KSI both finished six three minute rounds twice. So I'm just like, and if that wasn't the case and he was talking about having to have like a fight waved off or something, the very first YouTube boxing fight with KSI and Joe Weller, wasn't that fight waved off by Joe's team? So what are you saying? That's the thing. Jake's viewers are not checking for the facts. So they're just going to take this and be like, oh yeah, like Jake is so right. I feel so bad for the Pauls. No, it is manipulation. And that's what I'm saying. All, like, and people, I bet you money that people, his fans, the Snow Bunnies and Sugar Cubes, who I told you guys to dip, y'all are going to be under my comments saying, no, you're hating, you're wrong, you're wrong. No, I'm literally right. That's the thing. Like, I'm literally right. Y'all are just too blinded by all the bright white light coming through your screen here and all the bullshit that's going right over your head. You're really talking like you're so big and bad when you... All you've ever done is struggle beat Deji. Deji literally wasn't hanging on for dear life. Like, no. His team waved him off, but like he didn't look battered and bruised and broken. That's the thing. He says that he can't just sit here and say, oh, I'm good. Oh, I'm good. But like, this is his logic. I can't just sit here and be like, oh, I'm good. I'm good. Trust me, I'm good. Like, I know I'm good. And 
at the end of the day, I remind myself that I'm the champ, and that's why, like, I'm not scared of all the fight KSI, and I know I would beat him. You're saying that you are aware you can't just sit here and just, like, talk some big game, but your reason to back up your reasoning for why you are better than your brother and why you can actually successfully beat KSI is I remind myself that I'm the champ because you remind yourself that you're the champ and that's why like I'm not scared at fucking all because you're not scared at all as if fear has anything to do with this but okay I know I'm good and because you just know make it make sense does does anyone else's head hurt because mine does this doesn't <sighs> I'm tired you literally just said that you can't sit here and say that you can't just sit here and say that you're good but that's literally what you just did i'm so tired of <laughs> he's making my point for me guys someone get this guy off his platform someone get this egg off this youtube platform because <laughs> this speaking this much garbage in one video should actually be illegal that's what i'm saying it would have been an anonymous decision for logan if they didn't take two points away. it would have been an anonymous decision for logan as if anonymous is a word the word is unanimous <laughs> unanimous decision for logan if he didn't have two points deducted, this is the last um, piece of garbage, piece of crap that we have time to dissect today. So he said that it would have been an anonymous decision if Logan didn't have two points deducted. So let's just take this into consideration. If it would have been a unanimous decision for Logan, for a W for Logan, if he didn't get two points deducted, but you agree that those two points being deducted were Logan's fault? It's Logan's fault. Remember how I said, remember that he said it was Logan's fault. Then how is this sport rigged? <laughs> Sorry, my camera died, but like dead ass, make it make sense. How is it rigged? Like literally, just take the facts. If you said it would have been unanimous if those two points weren't deducted, but you agreed that it was Logan's Paul's fault that made those two points get deducted then how is it rigged? Show your work, show your work. I wanna know how you actually arrived at that answer, at that conclusion. How is it rigged? Someone needs to seize his YouTube login credentials because this is blasphemy at this point. You can't just sit up here and just talk some mess. That's like, people with this much influence over children should be locked up somewhere. That's what I'm saying. Like. What in the actual unseasoned mess is going on here? But anyways, that is literally just dissecting all the garbage from this video. But that's all I have for you guys today. You can leave your thoughts down below if you agree or disagree. If you disagree, there's something wrong with you because I'm act I'm just right. Like there's no, it, there's no dissecting it. I'm actually just right. And I can say that because I brought facts. Like I'm just right. <laughs> but anyways, um, make sure you guys like and subscribe. And here are my socials. You can follow me here. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Queen Versace's out. Bye, guys. I feel like we should. We need. We just need to let these damn Paul brothers let their views die down, and then let them be relevant.